It is official. Eagles news has been confirmed. Jonathan Gannon is no longer a defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles. Thank God. Thank God almighty. Here's the reason we lost the Super Bowl game. Here's the main reason. We won't miss you. We don't appreciate the type of person that you really are. You showed your true colors. You even showed up in a press conference. That showed how much of a coward and a punk ass coordinator that you really are. And we can't have that here. We glad that you are out of our, you're away from the organization and you don't deserve to be a part of Philadelphia. We don't have that. We ain't having that. So we won't miss you. Stay in Arizona and never to return. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know who's going to be the next defensive coordinator. But this next one, we need someone who has discipline, who has experience, that is a veteran in the league. That will take notes and bring a lot to the table for this defense. That will turn this defense around. We need a coordinator that will show some discipline and talk to this defense. And make sure they're ready. From right and wrong. We need a coordinator that will get on these players on the defense. From the D-line, the linebackers. The cornerbacks, the safety, the whole entire defense. We need a veteran defensive coordinator that will get on these players. Whenever they mess up, they don't get pressure, they don't blitz. They don't do man-to-man -man coverage. We need somebody that will talk down on them. Well, no, 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 let me, let me take that back. Not talk down on them. That will talk some sense into them. We need a coordinator that will get on these players ASAP. To make sure they do better. To take some of these big name quarterbacks on the grass. That will give them hell. That will wear them out. That will get to them as much as possible for next season. Whether it's Zimmerman. We don't know who. We don't know who. But. Now, well, for somebody that I would like to have as our defensive coordinator, I would like to have somebody like Seth Joyner. He will turn this defense around. We need a DC like Seth Joyner. And if not him or Zimmerman, we don't know who else, but he got to be a veteran that will turn this defense around, that will get this defense riled up, fired up, ready. Pumped up, focused, hungry, starving, motivated. We need a de defensive coordinator like that. Right away. And the Philadelphia Eagles like Jeffrey Lurie, Harry Roseman, y'all need to figure something out. Look at the free agent signings like other like DC's the other next OC. We need somebody to turn this defense around. Because we need some defensive help. And we can't have nobody young that has no experience. We cannot have that. Because we don't want it to be another slap in the face. Look what happened when they had Jonathan Gannon. But you see, like, even though Jim Schwartz, he gave us hard times, at least he get one of his secondaries in man-to-man -man coverage. He will get this defense ready. Somebody like Jim Schwartz, he had, uh, he, yeah, he had that attitude. He showed discipline in his defense. And he will talk to his guys. He will get them ready. He makes sure they focus. Unlike Gannon, he won the Super Bowl with the Eagles five years ago. <sighs> it's time to turn our defense Back to one of the top elite ones in the league for next season. Next season coming up. Please, man. We need 
some of the young ones, I mean, not too many, well, in the secondaries, like, we need, like, it's all right, we need some veterans that's a little young, a little younger, that has a lot of experience. They could be like 27, 28, maybe 29, but mostly 27, about 28. If they're over 25, okay. But if they're over 30, no, that's a no no. But we need a DC that will get our defense and turn it around. We need secondary help. We need some linebacker help. Because some of these veteran players, they got to go. Happy Valentine's Day. Y'all have a good day. D this puts us in, like, in a good mood for right now. After a heartbreaking loss. The way the game ended at the Super Bowl. This makes us feel better for the moment for right now. <sighs> Nothing too much else to say. If y'all enjoy my content... Let me know in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Are y'all happy? Express your feelings. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Because I'm, I'm, I'm damn happy about this. Y'all have a good day. Be safe. On to next season. And stay tuned for my draft prospects. That's coming up real soon. Fly Eagles fly.